So my name is Natalie Wexler. I am an education writer and I'm the author of a book called The Knowledge Gap, The Hidden Cause of America's Broken Education System and How to Fix It. And I'm the co-author of a book called The Writing Revolution, How to Advance Thinking Through Writing in All Subjects and Grades. I think we have to think of reading comprehension as a process uh, rather than a set of, you know, abstract skills that we can just teach directly and get students to master and then apply generally because reading comprehension is really far more complex than that and it, it really draws on everything you're able to learn and it is also a way of learning. So it's really part of not just the science of reading but the science of learning. Well, I think we really have to see literacy developing along two pathways that are gonna be to some extent pretty separate um, in the early years. Along one pathway, kids are gonna be acquiring those foundational skills through decodable readers, practicing fluency. That's not it, how they're gonna be acquiring new knowledge and vocabulary of a new topic in the first instance. That's really gonna come through this other pathway, which is reading aloud text that's probably more complex than they can read themselves and engaging them in discussion of the, that content. So they're using that vocabulary. Maybe they're writing about it. And that's getting that knowledge into long-term memory. And when their foundational skills, their decoding ability catches up to where their background knowledge is, that background knowledge and that vocabulary is gonna kick in to enable them to read and write at a higher level. I think it's really important um, for literacy teachers to see themselves as also content teachers and vice versa. Um, content teachers should be seeing themselves as literacy teachers to some extent because these things are really not separate. And what the best way to effectively build kids' knowledge, um, when, especially when they're young, is through reading aloud texts that are organized around a topic, not just random topics because we're focusing on getting them to practice finding the main idea, but spending two or three weeks or maybe more on a meaty topic, uh, could be from social studies or science, and engaging kids in discussion. And ideally, this will be part of a coherent, content-rich curriculum that builds students' knowledge in a logical sequence so that when they get to, say, fifth grade, they will have already acquired through the curriculum the background knowledge and vocabulary they need to understand what they're expected to understand at fifth grade. There is evidence that teaching kids comprehension strategies, or at least certain kinds of comprehension strategies, does boost their, their comprehension. But we've been trying to do this in the abstract, uh, you know, you choosing texts to teach a particular skill or strategy. And what really will work better is teaching a topic and bringing in whatever strategy or skill is appropriate to help kids think deeply about that topic and understand that text or that topic. So it's not a choice between building knowledge and teaching comprehension skills and strategies. It's a question of what's put in the foreground. We need to put the content in the foreground and then bring in skills and strategies as appropriate.